you will need your cardstock cover, your fabric, something to spread the adhesive with, such as an old gift card, and your adhesive. If the fabric you choose has an image like my Scooby-Doo here, you want to make sure that his face is on the front cover as opposed to facing the other direction and it would be on the back cover. So when we begin, we're going to pick up a bit of adhesive on our gift card and you just want to put a small amount, maybe an inch and a half or so, across the top of your cardstock. Then use the back side of the gift card to smooth out any wrinkles. Continue doing that process all the way down your cover. Adding a little more adhesive each time and smoothing it out. Using the gift card is nice with glue or with paint because it provides a nice thin layer of adhesive so there's not globs underneath your fabric or paper or whatever you may be doing. This is also a great technique uh, when you're doing mixed media projects. And I'm almost at the bottom of the cover, the cardstock. Smoothing that all down nice and neat. You don't want to have any wrinkles or shifts in the fabric or any stray threads attached. And now to seal it down, I do the same technique of spreading the glue, or the matte medium in this case, over the top of the fabric. And this will give it a nice, a nice feel to it. It won't be shiny at all. It still allows the texture of the fabric to come through. And it just has a nice hand to it when you're done. It gives it an extra bit of stability as well. Now I have a printed card stock, so I'm not going to attach an additional fabric to the other side, but if you wanted fabric on both sides, you would do this same technique to the other side once the front was completely dry. Now time has passed and this has dried. It takes a little while, maybe an hour or so before it's uh, not too, too damp still. And then I just trim away the excess fabric. At this point, you can see in some spots there, at the edges, the fabric may not be um, completely sealed down. So I'll just take a smaller piece of a card, put a little bit of the matte medium inside in between and then just smooth that down because we don't want any places where the fabric peels away from the cover from the cardstock and then just to seal the edges nice and neat I'm applying the matte medium to those edges and again I found another little spot there just smooth it out put a little between the paper and the fabric the cardstock and the fabric and just smooth it all down nicely. Now again, if you chose to, if you wanted a little extra uh, sealing on your edges, you could again apply um, a nail polish or paint along the edges just to give it a finished edge look if you wanted. You could also stitch around that if you wanted. It wouldn't necessarily be functional stitching, but it would give a nice texture to the edge of your traveler's notebook insert. 
once your edges are all dry, your cover is ready. You can go ahead and get your papers and stitch them in or staple them in, however you like to finish that. Here I have the cover from our first video, all set, full of pages and ready to go. And as a third option, which I don't have a tutorial on right now, but was super quick and easy, I just put a piece of fabric over the top of the cardstock cover and stitched it down. You can see I stitched in the center and all around the edges to keep the fabric in place. I also had the fabric a little bit longer than the top and bottom and folded that over to make a cute little tuck spot pocket in the front. Now we'll go on to what I did with all of those extra little strips. The technique I'm showing now will only work with the strips that came off of the cover with the fusible web. The ones from today's cover won't work because it's not fusible, it's just regular adhesive. You could sew those down or use a little bit more matte medium to adhere those to the page. But for now I'm just cutting strips that match the size of the page and then bringing my iron over and fusing those to the page just to give a little something to the edges for some design. You want to be careful. I had a page there with one of those windows from the envelopes. If you're going to press over that, just be careful that the envelope underneath it doesn't melt. So you don't want to put the iron onto the page for too long. Just be aware if there is one of those windows or any other plastic you may have put into your junk journal. Sometimes I'll sew in those strips, glue them down, staple them, whatever. They just make a nice little design to the pages. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed this two-part tutorial. If you have any other ideas of tutorials you'd like to see, please leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!